Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am Gentleman with the Voices. Um, here you'll find me doing uh, product reviews, company reviews, uh, occasionally lightsaber uh, oriented stuff, some video game stuff, um, and just random topics. Uh, I want to do today, I want to do a review on another beard company that I use. Um, and that company is called The Captain's Stash. Um, so the Captain Stash is based out of, uh, Texas. And it is nautical-themed beard care. Um, I've actually been buying from the Captain Stash, uh, for about a year now. About a year. Maybe a little bit less. No, it's been less. I started buying back in, um... No, about a year ago, I bought this. I bought um, I bought the sample pack. Um, about this time last year, I think, because I remember the snow was still on the ground. Um, and the sample pack consists of little bottles, five little bottles of whatever four scents you choose. Um, and I fell with a bunch of different scents that they offer. Um, one of them I actually I have right here. Um, so let's get into the, uh, into the product. First and foremost, obviously, beard oil, beard balm, and of course they offer, uh, beard butter as well. They offer a bunch of different scents. Um, like I said, they're all like a nautical kind of theme, which is really nice. Um. Though I have to say, there is one thing the Captain Stash does that the other beard companies they go through don't really do, and I, I really wish that they would. Um, and that is, they have the scent profile on the side of the product. You see, you have it here on the bottle, and then it's also at the bottom, and if you can tell. It's backwards for me. I, I, I don't know if it's going to be backwards for you. Um, but yeah, they have a bunch of different scents. A um, little something for everyone. He also hand makes uh, bars of soap, which is amazing. I've used the soap myself. They are amazing. They last. They smell amazing. Um, I know they have some apparel. They have wax melts for the different scents. And candles love of candles i'm i'm big into aromatherapy i know i've said it in a couple of my other videos i cannot ever stress it enough um one of the candles i got two candles i only brought one down with me um this is called hemingway's humidor hemingway's humidor smells like an actual humidor with all the cigars and uh pipe tobacco and vanilla enough of that smell and you can tell it's uh i haven't even lit it yet i was waiting for today to do it uh nice cotton wick uh very nice size candle i think it paid about i don't remember exactly how much i paid for it i know it wasn't much and this is a 10 ounce candle uh because i remember it was a pretty good deal um and it's got some of my favorite scents because Hemingway's Humidor is one of the scents I got in the uh, the sample pack. I've gotten it as a soap. Uh, it's it's just for me um, because I'm I, I I like all the vintage gentleman things. So things like humidor scents and cigar and tobacco scents, they just there's just something about them that works for me. Um, now, unfortunately, the other uh, product I got. Um, and I found out when I went on to buy some candles and some oil because I wanted to start um, stocking up on the different companies. Um, I found out that this is discontinued. It is my favorite scent by the Captain Stash. It's called Tortuga. Um, the scent profile on it is incense, sandalwood, leather, and spice. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent blend. And I'm very... Um, very disappointed that they're discontinuing, but I, I'm sure that um, the Captain Stash has their reasons. 
Um, I do know that once the bottle's empty, I'm going to keep it just so I can keep smelling it. Um, I can't stress enough how much I love Tortuga. Um, some other good scents that they have that I can recommend. Um, the Salty Barber is an amazing scent. Uh, it's really clean. It's really crisp. Um, Port Royal is a good one. Admiral's Helm is pretty good. Uh, Captain's Quarters is really nice. Um, trying to remember all of them. Because there's, there's quite a few. There was a limited one that came out um, this past summer called C. La Vie. And C. La Vie, um, you got pineapple. It was like pineapple leaves, mango blossom, Tahitian vanilla. And there was something else. I don't remember the exact scent profile, but I was... I was sad when I, I used it all because it smelled so good. Um, because it does look like they do seasonal releases. So if C. La Vie comes back, I will be jumping on that. Um, it's a great scent. Um, it's clean. It definitely smells like you're chilling out on an island or um, in the tropics. I love it. Because um, I've always been obsessed with all things... Um, the ocean and pirates and treasure. So the name itself was what got me um, the captain stash because it's the mustache and stash of treasure. I I love the play on words. Um, it's clever and that's honestly part of what brought me in. Um, I do um, I do watch Dancy uh, Dancy Bearded's videos. Um, I know he'll never know who I am, but if you ever see this, Dan, hello. Um, I've seen him review a bunch of companies, um, all but two that I use, he's reviewed. Uh, he's reviewed The Captain Stash. He has reviewed um, Fable. He does things with Fable now and then. He's reviewed 8-Bit. And beyond that, that's it. Um The other two companies I use, um, they're they're good they're good guys, um, but they're they're a lot more independent, and they need more love. But this is about Captain Stash. I have this bad habit of going off track. Um, but yeah, fantastic scent blends. Um, I had the butter um, when I had Sea Lovey. Um, it's like a it's like a whipped butter. It's really smooth. It's really soft. Um, I haven't had the pleasure of trying the beard balm yet. I actually will here shortly. Um, yeah. I want to get on to the next thing. Uh, I usually try to men mention the, uh, things like this um, when I do a review video of a company. Hang on a second. You want out, kitty cat? Um, price point is really good. Um, they do combos. I believe the bottles are about $18, $19. Uh, pretty, pretty average for a bottle of beard oil. Um, the balms are relative, are, are well priced. The butters are well priced for what they are. Um, the wax melts, um, they're about $5. I don't remember the exact price point on the candles. Um, it was like 10 or 15. I could be mistaken, of course. Maybe it was 20. I don't remember. Um, if the prices are good, um, the bars of soap are about $7, $8. And they're about that thick, about that big. So it's a pretty decent sized bar of soap. Uh, they come in different scents. Um, depending on the season that you go in to buy, he sometimes has different uh, scents out. That's how I got the... I tried the Sea La Vie soap. I know he had some fall soaps and some winter soaps. Um, after I'd just moved, I wasn't able to buy any of them, unfortunately. 
So I ended up passing with much reluctance. Um, so the most important thing I want to talk about is um, customer service. Uh, for, for folks that are just watching this video for the first time um, that are actually watching a company review versus a lightsaber review or a font review, um, customer service is something that I always, um, I always hold in high regard. I always, um, I always reserve an opinion on a company, um, until I've had a chance to experience their customer service. Um, when I placed this order about two, three weeks ago, um, I paid for it, uh, via PayPal and it used my my old address and I wasn't able to change it. I didn't catch it until after the payment went through. So I emailed right away. Um, I said, hi, um, my name, uh, this is the situation, this is the invoice number. Uh, this is, I accidentally, I, perch I made a purchase and I noticed on the invoice it's getting shipped to my old place. Here's my current address. Um, I'm I'm sorry for any inconvenience. I'm hoping it's just a quick as a simple address uh, address shipping address shipping change. Um, and it it was radio silent for a couple days, and then I got the notification that it had shipped and it was being shipped to my old place. Um, but he met he 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 did. Uh, email me right after uh, he apologized that he wasn't able to catch the email in time and he would get me taken care of um I absolutely absolutely am floored um I've never had a company go uh go all out like uh like uh, Clint did he within a couple um he said he'd be back and he'd be able to ship it out in a day or two. The very day he said he'd be back, he messaged me, said he'd send me the tracking information. And without hesitation, not later that day, this stuff had a shipping, uh, it had a shipping label set. I had a tracking number and it was shipped within a day or two. And it arrived, it arrived a day late, but that's not his fault. Um, I know the postal service has its issues. Um, I got everything um, because when I placed my original order, it said that there was only one of these left. Um, so the fact that I got one of these and I got a, I got a bomb, absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Um, he really did take care of me. He helped, um, he, I'm, I could not be happier with the service I got. Um, he really cares about his customers. He really cares about the quality of his work. Um, I will be shopping again, obviously. Um, I will also be making sure that the address is what it needs to be. But the customer service is absolutely wonderful. Um, I don't know if he, if, if he has other people that, um, that he works with or if he does all this himself. Um, like I know Fable has a couple people that, uh, work with him. I know um, 8-Bit, Gunnier Grooming, and Valkyrie Beer Care, they're all um, one-man one man shows. Uh, so I don't know. Um, but in any case, for, for a business owner to bend over backwards, make sure you're satisfied, you're taken care of, you get what you ordered. Um, and he was so prompt. He was so, so kind. He was so polite um, with his... Uh, with his reaction and sending me what I paid for. Um, it, it's absolutely fantastic. I legitimately could not, I couldn't be happier. It all showed up. Um, everything was here. Nothing was broken. It was the, the candles. Cause I got two candles. Um, they were in a box. Um, and they were secured so they wouldn't break. Um, the balm, the balm, and the oil 
were in a uh, bubble bag and put in with the uh, circus peanuts, not the circus peanuts, the packing peanuts. And they were secure. There was no issues at all. Um, I got what I paid for and I gained a fantastic experience out of it. Um, I'll be linking the business down in the description below if my review is of any use to you. Um, if it interests you at all, if the business interests you at all, check them out. Um, I legitimately could not, like I said, I could not be happier because I've, I've been a customer for a while. But this was the first instance where I had to um, see customer service. Um, and it was my fault. It's nothing that he did. Um, it's nothing the Captain Stash did. It, it was on me completely. I, and like I said, he bent over backwards to help me. And that is that is customer service to the fullest. And I will always champion someone that not only stands behind their product, but stands behind their business to make sure that you are getting what you paid for and you are getting the service that you deserve. So that being said, um, like I said, I'm going to link the description down. I'm going to, I'm going to link the captain stash down below. Um, I recommend grabbing some soaps. The soaps are great. They last a while. Grab, grab a combo. Don't just grab an oil. Don't just grab a balm. Grab a combo. Um, if you love candles, um, they have more than just Hemingway's Humidor and the Captain's Quarters. They have a bunch. And some of the candles that they have are not available in oils. And they smell great. All I have to do is open this. And I just have a huge aroma of a humidor. So I'm very excited to light this up. Um... Uh, so, Captain Stash, if you're watching this, uh, Clint, if you're watching, thank you uh, for your sir, for uh, taking care of me. Um, I really appreciate uh, your, the time and the uh, the effort you put into making sure I'm taken care of and my order was received properly. Um, I've worked with a bunch of businesses before, and I haven't quite gotten that kind of service before, so that was absolutely perfect. I will be coming back. Um, I will be a repeat customer and I'll probably do some more, uh, Captain Stash reviews down the line. Uh, that being said, please, everybody be good to yourselves, be good to each other and make sure that you have a great day.